Hi, right, Buena Shetta, good evening, what's poppin'? It's your boy Big Rich, straight off the streets of Queens, New York. You know how we get down? We get busy when it comes down to business. Salute to everyone, good evening, it's a Friday night. Just got home from work. Not too long, about seven, eight hours. You know what time it is, it's time to conduct some business. Gentlemen, wipe your feet on the rug before you come into the room. Throw some smoke in the atmosphere, have no fear. Tonight's show is sponsored by Bruce Banner and, of course, Luke Skywalker Kush, just in time for the, the last Star Wars movie, which is part of the original saga. And uh, a salute to the haters. You got to salute the haters. There's nothing that makes me feel better than waking up at 6 in the morning and you got some mook telling me how much he hates my intros. Do you know how happy that makes me? If your success can make somebody miserable, you're halfway there. So please, hate. If if people are hating on you, that means you're doing something right. It's a beautiful thing. So before we get into business, plus the atmosphere, I still got a little bit of this uh, Gorilla Glue that I got to finish up. Hold on. Delicious. Of course, tonight's episode is sponsored by Justice Tech Pros and everybody over there. Salute to Dominic and the whole team. Let's get busy. Nicholas Carrazzo released from prison, but does he still have a place within the Gambino family? Nicholas Carrazzo has been released from prison after serving more than 13 years behind bars. Carrazzo was indicted back in 2008 on both state and federal charges. The federal charges were part of Operation Old Bridge, which targeted Gambino crime family mobsters in both the U.S. and Italy. He was charged with two murders and other racketeering charges in the federal case and various charges, including enterprise corruption by the state. The feds identified him as one of the new acting bosses of the New York Mafia, along with fellow mobster Jackie D'Amico. Operation Obridge also ended with convictions of other high-profile Gambino family mobsters, including D'Amico, Joseph Carrazzo, Frank Cali, and current boss allegedly current boss, Domenico Cephal. When the old bridge indictments landed, Nicholas Carrazzo got tipped off by his daughter that the feds were arresting Gambino family members. He went on the run and the mafia leader was even featured on the hit show America's Most Wanted. But just after four months on the run, he had enough and surrendered to authorities. He would eventually plead guilty in July of 2008 to, to the state enterprise corruption charges and was found guilty by the jury of the two murders. The 79-year-old mobster honored the long-held mafia code of silence, but does that mean he still has a place in the current Gambino family? Today, the New York mafia family is controlled by its Sicilian faction behind boss Dom Cefalu and underboss Lorenzo Menino. The untimely death of Frank Cali left a temporary void within the family's administration, but that has quickly been filled by the organized crime family. If Nicholas Carrazzo wants back into the family, there would seemingly be a place for him, a stand-up and experienced guy, perhaps even a captain. It's unclear if the new regime would want him any higher up the pecking order than that. He is still facing a few years of supervised release and could always opt for retirement and live out the rest of his life in peace. Although that is a route seldom taken by old school mobsters like Carrazzo. So there will be plenty of eyes watching him to see how things progress. First of all, salute to the man for getting out of prison. Who wants to be there? Second of all, if people are going to be watching him, I hope this man moves very carefully and, and whatever he does. You know, these feds, they're like fucking mosquitoes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, salute to the whole team. Thank you for listening. Like the video. Comment on the video. Let me know what you're smoking on. Let me know if you hate my intro like I give two shits. Makes me laugh. Uh, and again, salute to the team. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, Friday night, do it right. Be safe. Throw some smoke in the atmosphere. Have no fear. And we will talk soon. This is your boy, Big Rich. Salute. And thank you for listening to Mob Stories Season 2. And don't forget, make sure that you hit that subscribe bell. And make sure there's two lines on each side of the bell. I don't need to repeat myself. This way you get every alert as soon as the story goes out. Salute to the whole squad. Salute to Ruckus Radio and the whole Hong gang. And salute to everybody that listens to the Mob Stories. Y'all have a great night and a good weekend. We will talk soon. Salute.